today we're looking at the African fat-tailed gecko and the leopard gecko. We're going to go through their differences, similarities and whether or not they should live together. Straight off the back, I'd like to say I am in no way an expert of caring for an African fat-tailed gecko. I've actually never owned one. However, I've owned leopard geckos for nearly a decade. So in this video, I'm just going to be comparing their basic information. So, similarities. You'd be forgiven for getting these two mixed up if you don't have too much experience of geckos. Leopard geckos are very common in pet stores nowadays, so if you see this, you might just assume it's the same as this. Leos and fat tails are basically cousins on the evolutionary tree, but very close cousins. They look quite similar, they're both nocturnal, they're not a fan of bright lights, they both have what's known as true eyelids, they live in similar temperatures and they eat similar foods. So from looking at things, they sound like ideal tank buddies. So let's look at differences. So firstly, the way they look. Yes, so they look similar to someone with an untrained eye. They sort of have the similar overall look. However, you can say the same thing about a Chinese cave gecko, who I imagine if this was a Disney film, they would be like a leopard gecko's evil cousin. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm sure they're awesome geckos, they just sort of have that look about them. Also, a Namibian web-footed gecko, you might look at it and think, wow, that leopard gecko is really skinny and its eyes are massive. But no, once again, it's a completely different animal. One big giveaway when it comes to their look is their colours and patterns. So you may know that leopard geckos come in a range of patterns and colours. A majority of them have spots, especially wild ones. This is where they get the name leopard gecko. However, fat tails generally come in brown and black block colours or orange and white. Once again, these are block colours, whereas leopard geckos' block colours generally turn spotted as they go into adulthood. I'm sure there will be a few exceptions out there as new morphs are always being developed, but as a rule of thumb, leopard geckos are usually spotted, African fat tails are usually in block colours. Also, their tails are slightly different in shape. Another major difference is that they live in two completely different continents. Fat tails are from Western Africa and live in rocky hillsides, river edges and scrublands, whereas Leopard geckos are found in southern Asia and live in rocky grasslands. Scrublands, grasslands sounds like the same thing. However, a big factor which differs between a leopard gecko and an African fat tail's environment is humidity. Leopard geckos generally prefer low humidity, 40% and even lower than that. Anything too high for a long time can cause respiratory problems. Whereas African fat tails need higher humidity ranging from 50 to 70%, even higher sometimes. So this factor is one major reason leopard geckos and fat tails should not live together. Not only this, but I have read many, many times that leopard geckos have been known to bully fat tails until they die. So yeah, seriously, do not put these two together. There's this absolutely disgusting video on YouTube where a leopard gecko is eating its own detached tail, or at least being encouraged to. Not only this, but it lives in a tank, and it lives on bark, and it lives with an African fat-tailed gecko. There is so much wrong with this video, it annoys me because it's given out the complete wrong message to people. It's been out for about three years, and for some reason, despite it blatantly being animal abuse, YouTube has still not taken it down. But I digress. Basically, it is not a good idea to put these two together. It's like putting a common garden frog with a Pac-Man frog. Hey, they both have a frog in their name, surely that's totally fine. No, that's not how it works. Personally, I'd never put two different species of geckos together that are from completely different environments. You may know I have a crested gecko and someone actually asked me whether a Leo and a Cresty can live together. The answer is no, by the way. One time, my leopard gecko saw my crested gecko through the window when I was just handling her, and my leopard gecko launched itself at its window. So if it had the chance, it would most definitely have eaten my crested gecko. Anyway, let's end this on a positive. African fat tail geckos seem really awesome, a lot calmer than leopard geckos, so possibly easier to tame, though they are slightly shyer. If you live in a place that has a lot of humidity naturally, maybe these are the geckos for you. 
I recently saw a video by Bay Area Fat Tailed Geckos on YouTube and they look so cute. But nevertheless, you know, leopard geckos representing over here, but <laughs> they're still awesome too. And also I'd like to thank Josie from Exotic Menagerie for letting me use her pictures of her African fat tailed gecko. And also I promised a shout out to Ace the Bearded Dragon from Instagram. So check them both out. I hope this has answered some questions for you. Thank you very much for watching.